Hey there, so if you're doing your GCSE or you wanna know how gamma knives are helping save the world, this is the video for yourself. Now, a gamma knife is a, what we call a non invasive way to operate on someone to remove a, not remove, but to treat a tumor um, because brain surgery has lots of complications. So the last thing you wanna do is open up a skull and take out the tumor. So what they use is gamma rays. Now, gamma rays are the most energetic electromagnetic wave there is. Not the most energetic radiation, um, that title goes to the alpha uh, particle, but as a um, ray that has no mass, that's an electromagnetic wave, gamma rays beat X-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, microwaves, all of them get beaten by the gamma knife. Now, a gamma knife is kind of a misleading um, name because you're not actually using a knife. You're using gamma rays, but I guess why they say gamma knife is because you're doing it very precise. And a knife is a kind of like a high precision cut. So it, it kind of works the same way. You're using gamma rays. Now, firstly, you're going to have to locate where the tumor is. Um, this could actually be done using gamma rays, which is a different thing. It's called a PET scanner. You could use a CT scanner, which uses multiple X-ray slices. This is what I go through in my GTFE. Uh, classes, but you've got to locate the tumor exactly where it is. Then you have to position the head um, with a frame. Last thing you want to do is move about during the operation because then the gamma rays will go to places you do not want it to go, which causes damage which you don't want. And the damage gamma rays cause is they damage the DNA in the nucleus of a cell. So that could lead to um, cancer because if you damage the DNA and the cell replicates itself, it's going to replicate a um, cancerous cell. Now, the treatment has run about 200 gamma rays, which are, um, which are going to be fired in different directions. Now, the reason why you fire them at different directions, not just at one direction. So the gamma rays are uh, <clears throat> aimed at a precise location at the cancer. But the reason why you do it in multiple different uh, directions is you want to limit the amount of damage that is going to be done on healthy cells because it's going to have to travel through and there is going to be a bit of damage even if, even though you do have a high precision gamma ray. Now the total radiation, so the total gamma ray radiation, when you fire it at different directions, when you add up all of that radiation, it's going to be powerful enough to kill the cancer cells. Like I said, gamma rays, do cause damage to healthy cells, they harm the DNA. And this exactly is how it works with cancer cells. It harms the DNA. Now, um, cancer cells are more prone to um, ionizing radiation than healthy cells. That means they're more, um, they're gonna be damaged more than uh, healthy cells by using um, radiation. And cancer cells are not able to repair themselves as well as normal healthy cells. And this is what we call cell, de uh, cell <laughs> death. Um, because they're going to stop dividing, they're just going to die out and save the person's life. So we're going to try and shrink the tumor, minimize its um, growth, um, and maybe have an operation. There's other kind of um, treatments that will be available. Um, and that will take out, if you shrink this, it will be much smaller. So it will be easier to operate on, or you could use chemotherapy. There's a lots of different ways that um, you could do it. Um, but yeah, come to my live lessons, check it out. It's free. Take care. Have a nice day. And if possible, subscribe and like my video. Helps out the algorithm.